From the air, the crushed shell of Suburban Baptist Church on Chef Highway stands as a symbol of nature's power. For the pastor of the church, Jeffrey Friend, it's also a symbol of God's mercy. If we had it been Sunday morning, you know, I shudder to think what would have happened. So that's the reason I'm not upset because, you know, the Spirit of God informed me, be prayerful and be thankful because it wasn't Sunday morning. Pastor Friend says on a typical Sunday, two to three hundred people fill the sanctuary. On Tuesday, he was inside his house just behind the church when the tornado hit. He offered up a frantic prayer. The shaking uh, began, debris came through the wall, and the ceiling began to collapse around me. You know, it was no need to run. It was too late to run, you know, but it wasn't, it wasn't too late to trust in him. The mayhem lasted mere moments, the 145 mile per hour winds ripping the church to shreds, but the storm passed without taking a single life. Today, volunteers at the Southern Baptist Convention operate donated equipment to clear the twisted metal and jagged lumber from the site. That board up there is getting out of it. Stonehenge Construction of New Orleans let the volunteers use the bobcat and excavator for free. In just a few days' time, all of the debris now sits in a large pile with dozens of helping hands, many from other churches, clearing the inside of this church little by little. You gotta come. It's how the body of Christ works, you know. When one when one member suffers, we all suffer. So we gotta come and help rush to some aid. So we love the folks here. They've been a blessing to us, so we gotta bless them. It's not the first time this church was crushed at the hands of Mother Nature. Katrina also battered this church. It took nearly $2 million to get it restored, this time with help from above. A lot to pick up, a lot to clean up. And generous hearts below. The healing is already underway. People keep saying the church is destroyed. The church is destroyed. And I said, no, the building that had the church is destroyed. You know, Sunday mornings when the church convened in this building. So yeah, the building is gone. I, I, I'm regretful of the, the brick and mortar, but I'm thank God that the church itself is healthy. Greg Adeline, Fox 8 News.